When I'm thinking about today's message, I feel like the best topic, the best title I can give today's video is, are you struggling like Harry Potter? Hmm. If you're wondering like, what the heck is she talking about? You know, you know this is gonna be about energy. You know I'm gonna be talking about your feelings. So what does energy and your feelings have to do with Harry Potter? So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so let's think about this. Harry Potter fans, you know, when Harry Potter was born, he had no idea who he was, right? He didn't know that he was this powerful wizard and he could do all of these things. But every single one of us is just like Harry Potter. Every single one of us has a tremendous power within us, but we're always giving our power away because we don't know that we have this power. And just like any superhero who starts out, or Harry Potter, you know, where they start out and they go, really? You mean it? Like, I can do that? Like, if, if I do that, then I have these powers and I can make things happen? We all have that ability. It's called the law of attraction. It's called universal law. And it's always working. It's simply working whether we're doing it consciously or unconsciously, on purpose or by default. So wouldn't it behoove you to know how to manage your energy so that you can start creating what you want instead of creating what you don't want? So that you can stop creating your future from your past? Think about it. Whatever you've chosen to do in the past, whatever experiences you've had, if you, if they're, when they're negative experiences and you think about them over and over, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it was a traumatic childhood. It doesn't matter if somebody was it nice to you on the elevator? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're holding on to a negative thought, a negative feeling, and it is permeating your thoughts right now in this very present moment, you are taking that with you into the future. You're creating your future from what you're thinking and feeling right this very moment. So knowing that you have this power, you might be asking me, well, if I've got this power, how do I turn it on? How do I make it happen? How do I change what's going on in my life? And the answer, ding, 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 your feelings. You know, every video that I share, I'm talking about your feelings, your feelings, your feelings. Your feelings are driving the bus of your life. So think about this. Whatever you believe, you have a feeling attached to it. So whatever you're thinking about, is a belief, right? A belief is a thought that you think over and over and over again. So if you're thinking that you don't have money in the bank, if you're thinking that you know nobody loves you, if you're thinking that you're never gonna find the right job, if you're thinking whatever it is that you're thinking, that's that negative thought that keeps going on and on and on in your head. What you're doing is you're creating your future from these thoughts. You can't help but do that. That is your power. That is a superpower that every single one of us has. And now that you know you have it, what are you prepared to do to change it and to use it differently? Because you have the power to make things different in your life. And if you're listening to this and you're saying, oh, no, Nancy, you have no idea what's going on in my life. That's just simply not true. I'm here to tell you, you are not an exception. The law of attraction doesn't work for some people and not for others. It works for everyone. And it works the same for everyone. So now that you know this, now that you know that your thoughts create your beliefs and your beliefs create your thoughts, they just keep going back and forth and they have feelings and emotions attached to them and everything that you're feeling, if it's a negative feeling, then you're creating more of those negative experiences based on what you're thinking and then you're saying because right when you're not having a good day when you're experiencing something negative you're not keeping it to yourself right you're sharing it with your friends you're calling your friends you're calling your mother you're calling somebody you're yelling at your kids you're saying oh my gosh this jerk cut me off on the freeway or my boss is such a fuddy-duddy and I can't stand this anymore you are sharing it with everybody and you are sharing it with the world. Remember, because everything is vibration. So everything that you're putting out there is coming back to you. But all of your mm, negative minutia, 
it's also going out there and mixing with other negative minutia. So each one of us is responsible for raising the vibrational energy of everything, ourselves. Everything that is, everything that we're connected to, we have the power to raise the vibrational energy. And we also have the power to bring it down, to lower it. Now think about this. You are here. Your natural existence is to vibrate on a very high energetic level. You are a very high energetic being. But when you sit with negative feelings, negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative beliefs, what you're actually doing is you're slowing your vibration down and that feels heavy. And when you feel heavy, you don't feel peppy and you just feel like, oh man, I think I'm just going to sit on the couch and binge on Netflix or something, or I'm going to go back to bed and pull the covers over my head. You see, the negative creates the negative, which creates the negative. But the positive creates the positive, creates the positive. Now, there's a couple things that you can do because what are you eating? You are what you eat. If you're eating foods that are basically no nutrition, you have the opportunity to change that. You have the power, right? You have this power. We have all of these powers that we simply just maybe don't even realize or we know it, but we choose not to use it. So every power that you have, that you choose not to use, you're giving it away, right? You're just letting it sit there and do nothing. You can see how everything is an inside job. Everything is about each one of us individually taking responsibility for our choices, the thoughts we think, the words we speak, and the beliefs that we have. Because when you master your beliefs, when you say, oh, I realized that was a limiting belief. I'm going to master that belief. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to say, hmm, where did this come from? I don't need it anymore. I'm going to let go of it. You master that and then you move on. You master your beliefs. You master your life. You master your life. Life is wonderful. If you have any questions on this, if you'd like to know more about the law of attraction and how to stop creating your future from your past, I invite you to visit masteringyourbeliefs.com. Check out the information, see what calls to you. And if you have any questions, just ask, ask me. If you have any questions, remember, ask your sensei. In the meantime, this is Nancy Muller, the one and only life sensei saying ciao for now.